Good morning, Modersteaders. It is a nice, cool, foggy morning this morning, and I love this weather. If you guys are just tuning in, we are building two stall bonds from JamaicaCottageShops.com. There is a link in the video description down below. And now that the weather is supposed to be good, it's going to be interesting to see how far we can get the post and beam structures on these two portable barns done. We've got the bases built, and we started doing the back walls, and then we were going to do the front walls yesterday and the side walls, but it decided to rain on us. All right, now we get to start putting in our corner posts and then our our beams going across to the back. It's gonna start looking like a barn pretty soon. Make sure you have your notch in the right spot. Yeah, notch goes right here. So I just need you to steady the top. you're doing what do you think you're doing <laughs> you're silly all right now we're ready for some top beams how are those gonna get up there
much at the end. Of it. I'm crying. Push it to me so to your end's flush. Is that good? No. Nope. A little bit more. Yep. Go through my door. Oh, hello. That will be the green room. The green room? Sometimes when you're working with rough sawn lumber, you need to make adjustments. Rough sawn lumber is rough sawn, so it's not always the same dimension. Sometimes they're off a little bit, and that's why we that's why like when you go to Home Depot and Lowe's, they all their lumber is plain, so that way you can get planed to like a perfect measurement. When you're working with rough sawn, it can be off like an eighth to a quarter each way. So that's where they vary. So we have to fix our tenon cuts a little bit here for that. So anytime you're working with roughs on, this is an issue you run into. But it's so much nicer looking. All right, that should do. Did you find something? It better not be a mama snake. Uh oh. What is it? It's starting to look like a building. Funny how the echoes. Right. All right, now we gotta make sure everything is square and racked right, and then we can put in our temporary bracing so nothing moves when we're building it. Hold your end up higher. Up higher. No, nope. down. 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 Right 
You need temporary bracing, but now I gotta wash my head. Make sure I don't just walk through. Can't walk through walls so easily now. All that is temporary bracing. It's gonna stay up until the building is all put together. That's just gonna keep it so nothing moves on us as we're trying to build. We know everything is square and where it needs to be. So now we can just continue building. We don't gotta worry about it. Nice way to use your head. Called using your noggin. <laughs>
tapi ini Oh. <laughs> all right, that is all the corner braces. Except for that one, we'll have to get that later on when I take down that temporary brace in. Now we gotta go make the opening for the run. And then we have a couple of shorter uh, corner braces to go there. You know what, we're gonna be siding it. These ones are six inches shorter. area right here is going to be the run so the animals will have an opened outdoor place all the time so they have shade they want to go get away from the wind it's kind of like our goat stop now but a little bigger and then it has the ground underneath too Now we're going to go back to the other barn and start on the next step on that one. We're going to have three 2x4s going up and down all the way on the outside and then in the dividing stalls as well. So we can put kickboards in the inside so these barns 
later on if we wanted to we could put cows in here we could put horses in here and we don't have to worry about them kicking through to the other side we get a lot of scrap wood and i'm going to make some spacers out of it so when we're putting in our nails like just put this put our spacer in set the two by four down screw it nail it and then we'll make longer ones for the next course just keep working so on and so on you think Tanner with a ghost like it? So we keep getting a lot of questions about Pluto. Pluto is absolutely fine. She right now she's not good in the car and then she's not good. We had to have two eyes on her outside at all times or she just does a disappearing act. Really, really excited about this step right now because he's putting up like dividers. So earlier when we were working on this barn over here, I walked over here and got my gloves and I went underneath and I said yesterday, watch out for those things. And I right in the forehead. And if you see me, I don't know if you got it, but I might've had a couple of tears running in my face when I was back over there. It wasn't like super painful, but it was kind of like stunned. And then it brings water to your eyes. And I, I think, I will be free of any bumps or bruises, hopefully.
So now he's putting these up. I shouldn't be able to do that again. God bless you. Well, he has that handled over there. I'm just going to start picking the pieces for this size and get it done. And the same thing, just the boards going across. It's a good strengthener. It's also giving us dividing walls so I don't run into anything else. Plus it will be, it also shows how big our stall plus our like feed room, grain room, milking room will be. So that is nice to see. All right, so we got a divider wall in the middle. I didn't put the divider wall up right here in between the run. And the reason I haven't done that yet is I'm gonna make a door for the goats to be able to come in and out by themselves. So we're gonna figure out how I'm gonna do that. And it'll probably just be as easy to build the door as we're building that or vice versa. So we'll leave those out. That's just four two by fours. And then we have to put a two by four up high in the divider. But we do that afterwards in the plan. So. Right now, it is ready for siding. This is where we're gonna end the video. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey. You guys are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. We are having a blast building our Jamaica cottage shop, stall barns. I don't know about you, but I'm looking forward to getting the siding on. I am too. So that's going to be the next step. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.